This is a Recovery Act progress update. Closure activities begin on two Cold War era nuclear reactors at the Savannah River site. A milestone of the Recovery Act occurred recently with the approval by government agencies to begin the construction start of the closure of two nuclear reactors at the Department of Energy facility. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, and the Department of Energy have given the go-ahead to decommission the P and R reactors, a project valued at $297.5 million. The work is being managed by Savannah River Nuclear Solutions, the management and operating contractor at the site. Recovery Act workers began preparing the reactors for closure last summer and fall by removing wiring, pipes, and other fixtures. The decommissioning will involve filling the reactor vessels, open spaces, and below ground equipment with a cement-like grout, entombing the facility and its components. The above ground reactor building structures will remain for now, with final closure details to be determined by the government later. The closure method is being modeled at the P reactor, the first of the five SRS reactors to be closed by this method. The Savannah River Reactors Complex produced plutonium, tritium, and other special nuclear materials during the Cold War era. The process being utilized is expected to save over one billion tax dollars compared to the traditional demolition methods. DOE and contractor representatives in conjunction with regulatory agencies conducted multiple information sessions and public workshops to gather input and comments before the decision was made on the closure method. The Recovery Act has more than 3,000 people at work at the Savannah River site, with more than $107 million in contracts going to companies within the central Savannah River area. This is Tom Cody reporting.